Today I'm going to go over XMMS2, uh, which is a command line uh, uh, music player, pre advanced one. And uh, what I'm going to show you is just the basic options for it. In the past, I believe, uh, I've had to start the server portion of it by typing uh, XMMS2D and have that running in the background but it seems like I don't have to do that anymore so if for some reason what I'm showing you doesn't work on your system uh, go ahead and run that uh, that that server portion of it first um, basically uh, what we can do if you just type in uh, XMMS2 and hit enter it'll give you a list of options and the first thing we need to do is load music now we can just add a song or whatever we want but we're gonna add uh, if we use the R add that will add uh, a folder reclusively so I can pick my music folder and it took just a few seconds and I have lots of music in there now if we type in XMMS2 and we type in list it lists all your music uh, in order uh, now we can hit XMMS and type play and it starts playing our music uh, we can also adjust the volume by typing volume and we can set it to 50 or 25 percent or all the way up to 100 percent so let's put it at 50 so it's not too loud here now uh, you can also do XMMS2 pause uh, you gotta spell stuff right for it to work and we'll pause the song and you can press play to play it uh, now also if you look in the options there is a toggle play which is nice because instead of having to hit play or pause this command does both just depending on whether it's paused or not you can uh, shuffle the music and now if we do our list you can see the songs are all shuffled you can go to the next song by typing next and we can go to a previous song by typing preve and you can jump to a song based on its ID such as uh, we can jump like this we just go jump 309 and it jumps to song 309 or we can jump to song 318 there's more options in the program you can look through them all you can bring up like information on the song and whatnot if you wanna uh, clear the playlist you just do XMMS2 clear and it clears it now if you view the list you'll see there's nothing in the list also as you notice that gives you the play time here before it would have told us all turtle play our total play time right there was 19 hours almost 20 hours of music right there so uh, this is a great little application that's more than just playing a file it actually does playlists and has a lot of options and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to do more advanced uh, GUIs graphic user interfaces and we'll make a music player uh, using uh, basically bash scripts and it's going to be a little more advanced than GUIs I've showed you in the past which are just simple dialog boxes through um, Xenity or, or other dialog programs like that we're actually going to create our own custom GUI in the next tutorial so I'm looking forward to showing you that I hope you're looking forward to learning it play with this XMMS2 is usually not installed by default, so check your package manager. Should just be a aptitude or apt get install XMMS2. And uh, have fun. Visit bashscripts.info for more videos like this.